Hi, I'm Adam. I'm Jess, and we're ForTheLandlords.com. We help landlords get more money, reduce the hassle, and get their time back. Today, we're going to discuss how a property sourcer can help you build your property portfolio. It's everything you need to know. It's the how, what, why, how, uh, where, and most importantly, some of the pitfalls. And we've got right at the end um, a list and questions and answers of the, the most commonly yeah. asked questions. <laughs> So well, let's dive straight in. Um, there we go. Look, for the landlords.com, me personally, us, we believe that property is the best wealth creation method on planet Earth, but it is not as easy as it looks. When you think about property sourcing, that is um, you know, where most sources leave it. There's your property. We are the UK's number one property sourcer. We have found, fixed, rented if you needed it, but property sourced over 1,200 houses. Nobody's done more as far as we're aware. Uh, and we're going to talk today about um, the, the full service that we offer because it's not as easy as it looks. So we give our landlords a plan to ensure their success. Um, it's mostly today going to be uh, about the finding of the house and the, the why and the how. But you need to know it's, it's, it's mainly for you um, for the next 30 years can about be about the ongoing management of the house. So that's where the profit is. Um, that's why we like to call our success plan a 360 degree success, success plan, easy for me to say. Um, and we've found that that approach is really useful. You know, lots of sources, like I say, there, there's the house, there's the name of a builder, the name of a good local letting agency. We are soup to nuts, as they say, beginning to end. We'll find it, we'll fix it if it needs anything doing to it, get it compliant, get it ready, maybe even do a renovation, who knows, uh, and then rent the thing out. And most importantly for you, manage it long term. We've been in business for uh, over 10 years now, and it's that 360 degree approach that has served us and our clients very well. So the truth is for lots of landlords, but all landlords, success is different for different people, isn't it? Um, we know, though, that broadly speaking, a landlord requires just three simple things. And those are theirs. So they want more money, their time back, and they want less hassle. Now, you might want £2,000 a month, or you might want £20,000 a month. Uh, you might want Friday afternoons off, or you might want to retire and sail around the world. These three objectives are universal. Whatever your want, your aim, your goal, this is how you get there. Um, Personally, I've been a, no matter who you are, whether you're a landlord or you want to be, I've been at some point in your shoes in my journey. I'm a landlord myself. Uh, the business was called forthelandlords.com because it, originally it was for the landlord without an S on the end. Um, so I wasn't a particularly happy landlord at one point of my journey. And it's these three objectives that provided the, the guiding stars on my journey to being a happy landlord and a landlord that scaled up and, and built multiple um, bought multiple properties, built build, build portfolio. So let's just stick them there. And this is something we, we do often. Um, as part of the service, as part of the process of you, uh, us, sourcing a property for you, we create a landlord success plan to help you focus on these three objectives. The success plan will become a one-page word picture that tells your future success. Sounds a bit corny, but it's totally true. It's what helped me. Um, simply put, and it stands true in, in our experience, but you can see that this is true. We notice that those who plan tend to get better results. So this is how we plan. People who know where they are going are far more likely to get there. Um, so think of a, um, the plan as a wheel. It's quite useful to think of it that way. Held together by spokes. The spokes have got to be balanced or the wheel won't rotate. Um, so if you want us to source you a property, this is how the process would go through. Six areas to focus on, and every single one of those areas contains a checklist, it's a guide. You know, things that you need to plan, measure, manage, deal with, consider, think about. Um, what we're doing today is doing a deep dive on property sourcing. That's what we're gonna to get to in a minute, but it is worth going through a quick overview of the wheel, so you know exactly what you're getting into. Uh, Adam's gonna run through his checklist. And, we, do, we would do this on a call with you. So it's not just about property sourcing. It's not just, here's a house. It's, here's a house. Here's how it fits into your plan. Let's talk about the plan. Let's go backwards and forwards with it. Is that a realistic plan? Um, is there anything else we need to consider? So that's what we do um, with the wheel. It's a 360 degree approach. And this is the conversation that Adam has. I mean, we are essentially a letting agent, yeah? But I think this is what makes us unique in that we sit down with a, an investor landlord 
and we look at every aspect of their their landlord business. Um, we do help landlords find and fix property if needed, and then rent it out. We can bring on landlords that already have a portfolio and using this, optimize it also. So um, this is the, the um, tool we use when we meet a client for the first time. And at the end of the, by the time you finish watching this video, um, you might decide you want to meet us and there'll be a, uh, there's a link, in, link below where you can book a call and go through this with one of my consultants. So I spoke one, we look at the finances, are all your accounts in order? Are you ready for tax going digital? Or are your properties in your personal name? Or are you thinking of moving them to a limited company? Do you need to set up a limited company? These are all things we can discuss with you and give you advice on and put you in touch with the right professional people. Um, it's, Dave, a, it's important to understand at that first point, you know, where you're starting with, your profit and loss, your balance sheet, like, yeah. what we got. One of the things I know Adam's really keen on is to make sure that every plan is realistic. Yeah, if you, totally. If you, if yeah. it, I know, if a client comes to you and says, you know, I want you to source me ten houses in, um, you know, in in the next year, and I've got twenty grand, I've got yeah. twenty grand. Yeah. Of course, that's exactly. not realistic. So, yeah, this is all about getting the foundation set and being realistic. That's what number one. Is. Totally. Um, spoke two. We look at the day to day operations. How we can optimize your portfolio. Is all your paperwork in order? Do you need rent reviews? Do you need compliance health checks? Do you need a renovation rescue, an arrears rescue, maybe a tenancy rescue? Do you have any ongoing maintenance issues that your previous agent just couldn't seem to get on top of? Um, all those things that can give you real headaches yeah. if they're not right. So of course, we bring on lots of landlords who have already got property. We're talking about sourcing property and you may or may not already have existing property now. Um, but yeah, we we're, might just skip, yep. skip this bit if yep. you haven't already. But uh, if you do have, we, we look at these as well. We don't just focus on the one thing. Exactly, and um, when we come back round, then um, we'd, we'd talk about it every year and, and exactly, at, least, yeah. at least, if not sooner. Number three on the wheel is our expert power team. Are our contacts as good as yours? You know, do you have a specialist property accountant? Do you have a specialist buy-to-let mortgage broker? A super efficient solicitor? An insurance broker? Are you owed a stamp duty refund? Do you even know anything about them? Could you qualify for EPC improvement grants? Do you know how to move your portfolio from your own name into a limited company. Um, again, if it's just property sourcing and you want to get your first deal or you want to get your next deal, we just move straight around because mm -hmm. we're coming up to that bit now. Yep. But these are all the conversations we have with clients um, that, yeah, like I said before, makes us a unique letting agent, really. Mm -hmm. um, spoke four is sourcing, selling. Um, at this point, you'd say to us, yeah, I want to buy a house um, or I've got a house I want to sell. We can do both of those things for you. Um, we'd sit you down and go through our buy to let order form. Um, we'd need to know the type of property that you want to buy, the growth plan and targets that you have, and you know maybe we, we work, work them out and make them realistic. Um, do you want to access our property sourcing and renovation teams, which stretch from pretty much Northampton all the way up and across the whole of the north of England? The north of England. Um, yeah, big area. You know, it's true, 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 yeah. All the yeah. buy to let hotspots, yeah. we cover those areas. Um, Name a few. Well, well, we're based, people are always interested. It works where nice do we invest? Because we're based in Nottingham, it's central to the country. That's where our central off head office is and our hub. Um, but we have property sources, renovation managers in Northampton, Stoke on Trent, uh, all across the East Midlands, Nottingham, Derby, South Yorkshire, um, towards Greater Manchester and across you know, West Yorkshire and the northeast of England. Um, you know, we can find, fix and rent a house in any of those areas and at any given time in each one of those areas, there's someone who can do those three things and the, no one ever any more than sort of 15 minutes away from any house that we manage. Um, it's a really nice setup. minutes with traffic. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. School holidays at the minute. Um, no traffic. So um, if you have property you want to sell, Either maybe you want to just get it sold really quickly and put it in an auction, um, we can do that. And maybe we can put your property with one of our investors. Um, so basically we have a- The main thing there is it's landlords sell for free. We, we, we specialize yeah. in selling yeah. tenancy property to landlords. And if we do that, you don't pay a fee. So it's one of the, you know, um, landlords it always come to a natural point. True. Yeah. It might be 10 years, it might be, Personally, for me, it's, it's very, very far in the future. But if you want to sell, and some landlords, that's part of their retirement plan, 
um, we could move that property, which we know is the right property in the right area, tenanted well, compliance as well. Yeah. And it, um, yeah, another one of our landlord investors would very happily take that one on. So landlord sell for free. The next spoke on the wheel is um, a missing piece of the jigsaw, really the next steps. Mm. Um, you need to sign our terms of business if we're going to be sourcing property for you, managing property for you. Um, we would encourage you to watch um, a video series on YouTube. Um, Another one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, we'd need to sign our team agreement. And, you know, a little thing like your future um, communication preferences. So the team yeah. know, oh, you're a busy guy, you're a business owner, you like to be contacted by WhatsApp. Yeah. Um, for, for us, we, we put that stage in because we know it's, it's key to your happiness as a landlord and ours as a business, actually, and making sure that things are going along the right expectation, the right lines. I mean, different landlords have got different expectations. We've got different processes to lots of other letting agencies. So we need to really clearly explain them, onboard you as a, as a landlord client to us so that you end up understanding what we do, how we do it. That's what the video series is about. Can you please watch? Yeah. Uh, I think it's seven, eight, um, four or five minute long videos on how we rent a house, how we collect the rent, how we conduct maintenance. And then you will know when we send you an email or there's a communication that comes up on the portal, if that's what you subscribe to, communication preferences, you'll know what it means. You're an engaged landlord, you know that the standards that we keep the houses to and you understand why we do X, Y and Z. It really makes a difference to your happiness as a landlord. It'll also set the time that we're going to do the next 360 review and talk about all these things again. So it really totally. works for us and for our landlords. Yeah, totally does. And then step six. It's the final bit, and it and it's the yeah. fun bit. It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun, no? It's us, uh, we set your targets, we diarize a one year review of this plan, and then we celebrate when we hit those targets. It's really you important do. that you enjoy it and have fun with it too. Yeah. And then we go again next year. Let's not set a five year plan, a 10 year plan. It's, you can't. Yeah, no. you, I, I, you, well, I, you I can't used to do it when I was younger. And, yeah, uh, I, I you don't think you can. Year, an annual plan. Yeah. So, you know, I had a client say, oh, you know, um, the deals don't look the same this year as they did two years ago. Well, of course, of course they do. Mortgage <laughs> yeah. rates have changed. I don't know what mortgage rates are going to do next week. Hopefully, they're going to come down very soon. But it'd be unfair to set a five-year plan right now. Yep. One-year plan, review it annually. Celebrate when we achieve those targets. Okay. Well, thanks for that. So that's the wheel. And the reason that's important, that... 360 degree approach it's actually it's the right foundation it's the um and there's a, a finished that's that's a client's wheel so that's you know the, the, the six spokes we kept it clean when we're talking it's very distracting otherwise but bang wow that would be we're going through your finances the day-to-day -day, the power team are you are you uh, sourcing property or selling property um ins ensuring the happiness and then we celebrate when we achieve by setting you some goals that's what you get that's the plan so now we can talk about property sourcing and you know that you know, finding a house maybe fixing it up renting it out i'm not going to say it's easy um there's a difference between simple and easy it's but maybe relatively simple i could just say it in those words of course it's a lot of graft and a lot of hard work to get it done but um that takes three months at the most and you've got a tenant that tenant can live there for well, the, the tenant can live there for, you know, our average tenancy is 3.4 years, bang, off the top of my head, but you can own the house as a landlord for yeah. the next 30 years. More if you pass so it on. So that's the yeah. most important thing. So we're kind of going to dial back around the wheel now and talk about property sourcing. Uh, a deep dive on property sourcing. Um, yeah. The how, <clears throat> the pitfalls, and then later on we're going to get onto the, the what you buy, what type of house, and where you buy it as well. So... Totally. Go on, Adam. See, when we're going around that wheel with a client, it takes a bit longer than the couple of minutes that I've gone through it. But um, we like to dig into a bit more detail on those things. But mm. yeah, for the sake of this video, let's dig a bit into a bit more detail on into the, detail the in the property side. sourcing. Because yeah. these are the sorts of conversations you'd have as you go around the wheel and you get to that bit. Um, where were you guys based? I alluded to it before. We've got teams from Northampton up and across the whole of the north of the UK, or north of England, sorry. Um, Taking in all the major buy to let hotspots, hot spots where we have people who can find a house, fix and renovate a house if it needs work doing to it, and then let it out, and then we manage it. Um, Greater Manchester, Newcastle, as far as Newcastle, Middlesbrough, mm -hmm. Sheffield, um, Nottingham, Derby, 
Stoke-on-Trent. So we, we cover a wide area. Um, when we get to this stage in the wheel, we sit down with the client and we go through a buy-to-let order form. And there's several questions on there. And we like to dig a little bit deeper and you know ask a client exactly what it is they're looking for. And we might dial back their wants, expectations, because they're unrealistic, or we might say to them, actually, no, goodness me, with that kind of pot of cash, you can buy Booty 10 money. houses. You don't need yeah. to just worry about five, for, for example. Further around the wheel would have identified if you've got some money that you didn't think about or know about, or that's, that's unlikely you didn't know about it, but didn't think about maybe equity releases or some other refinances elsewhere, if that's something you want to do. But we're definitely yeah. have, that wheel would have prompted the right questions you know, it might be your loan to value. SAS pension oh, and that yeah. sort of thing. Really help. It's not like you'd, you'd not know about it, but maybe, um, yeah, there's just lots of questions that are prompted by that wheel that will help you massively set you up for the for the journey. Like, are you going to get make the best of it? I've, I've seen Adam go through conversations with landlords or investors that aren't landlords yet, and maybe they thought they could buy one or two houses. A couple of different conversations, they've gone on to buy 10. Yeah. Um, the landlord with the most Very properties true. with us has got... Are they in the 40s yet? Yeah? 30 plus, 30, close to 30, 40. 30 plus, close to 40. We've got lots of landlords in double digits. Yeah. Bear in mind that the average landlord in the UK does not own two houses. They own one point something. Our average landlord mm. owns eight. So what we do works. Property sourcing, our so, service here works. Yeah. So sometimes um, the, the, the properties that we source need a renovation. It could be a full renovation back to brick. Um, when we do that for clients, we contract manage that renovation contract a builder to it, draw up a detailed schedule of works, contract the builder, um, agree the price, stage payments, a start date, an end date, and we then pay the builder on behalf of the client um, at each stage when they've completed it. The builder will work it and be paid in arrears, so the builders never get paid for any work they haven't done. Keeps you protected. Um, it keeps very the, important. the client protected. And I think, again, it, it's kind of one of our things that makes us unique in... A lot of property sources will just say, here's a deal, it might need this amount of spending on it. I know a few local builders and you know, when you get the keys, they give you a, yeah. a, a little list of names and say, you know, call, call these guys, they, they, they better come and give you a price. We, we would already have priced a renovation if the house we were sourcing needed one and then contract a builder who would honor that price and then manage him and then update the client weekly with, um, with video updates so the client can see the progress week by week by week of their house being renovated and ready for lettings. Um, when it is fully signed off, fully renovated, ready for letting, our guys will jump straight in and get the property on the market and do the viewings and referencing um, checks, all that sort of thing, um, before bolting onto the management. Cool, so that's the how. I think we've covered some of the pitfalls there as well, just to sort of pick them out rather than them, them sort of sitting in that conversation. Mm -hmm. um, it's important to us as a business, for thehandles.com, that we own a job end-to-end. -end. I personally, I think that's why we've been successful at what we're doing. Have I mentioned that we are the UK's number one property sourcer? We have done 1,200 properties. There's mm. no one else has done more. Um, I think a significant uh, factor we've in that is the fact... Renovated a significant large correct. chunk of them as well. Correct. Um, it's the fact that we own the experience end-to-end. Some of the pitfalls to watch out for as a landlord investor using, well, even buying yourself perhaps, buying yourself without a source or mm -hmm. buying with a source is that disjointed uh, lack of accountability, lack of ownership. If our team have found it, it will be pre-priced for the next step, which is any work that needs to do to, to, do to get it compliant. And then it will be done in light of the fact that we're gonna have to rent the thing and then manage the thing. You know, very often a deal is plucked out of thin air, passed to a landlord investor. Is it really worth that? Is the renovation, if it needs a renovation, you know, not all houses need a renovation, but let's say, let's say it says, oh, it doesn't need a renovation or it needs a £3,000 renovation. But when you actually get the keys, it's a £10,000 renovation or a £15,000 renovation. We see that from people who got burnt elsewhere. And, um, you know, where's the accountability? I've sourced it, mate. I've mm -hmm. disappeared. Um, every house that we have found, whether we fixed it or not, we then manage it 
and we still do. Uh, of course, some landlords have sold up, whatever, but the vast, vast majority of the houses we've found fixed and rented, we still manage. We have this conversation around the wheel with those landlords regularly, well, is it every year at least, but you know, every time they want to rebuy a house and we go through it. So um, some of the pitfalls. Uh, do you want to talk about um, the buy to let order form? That's the yeah. uh, that, you know, ne- next steps, I guess. You know, totally. what we're talking about is so we did the how, um, the pitfalls, but how do you actually work out the house that somebody wants to buy, where it is, mm-hmm. how much you pay for it, those kind of things. So, so be, yeah, everyone, everyone's different. <clears throat> we'll sit the client down. We'd find out what the budget is. Um, cause everyone comes, everyone comes at different stage of their journey, different budget, um, the regional preferences, areas they want to invest in. It might be a case of saying, well, actually having you, having told me what your budget is, um, that area is going to be a bit out of your price range. So you need to think about here or here instead and having that conversation. Um, and then we ask them to sort of decide, um, which area of this chart here that you can see, um, where they want to be, where their property quite, quite wants to be. Well, I think we'll, we can probably blow that up a bit. We'll blow that up. Okay. Um, and on that chart, you will decide if you want to focus on capital growth or a really high yield or somewhere in the middle. And most of our properties sit that we've really tend to source in that middle area where you get the best of everything, really. Um, um, that's totally true. That, if, if you ask 10 landlords, yeah. seven to eight of them, pretty much in the middle yeah exactly but then all, some people all. just say no i want a really expensive city mm-hmm. center flat mm-hmm. or uh, a really cheap well, yeah. yeah 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 or i just want a four bed detached family home and i'm gonna sink hundreds of grand into it but mm-hmm. whatever yep. um we take the order yep. um that's moving on we look at the property type uh your investment strategy preference the reason for investing your goals and your exit strategy and we cover everything off yeah. um and then once we've got that order, we can then get one of our teams onto that and find you that deal. Yeah. It might be the case that our guys are out there every day viewing and sourcing property. It could be the case that we have a house that we've, we've viewed that week or we, it's kind of on our agenda anyway. You can find it very quickly for you. Um, That's a nice question. How, it, roughly, you, roughly how long does it take? So to fill, fulfill an order, that will be a question people ask. How long does it take to fulfill an order? Oh God, you. The, the, uh, do you know what? Let's say let's take off the outliers. If you want something really specific, if you want a windmill that's south yeah, facing, okay. whatever, okay. But if you just want the stuff that eighty percent of our landlord investors asked for, we within, find within it in, you know ten working days, probably. Hmm. Yeah, but usually you, good news. Quicker than that in some well, occasions. Yeah, yeah, very easy. Um, so yeah, I think it's really in, in, um, important to um, figure out where you sit on that. The questions that get asked are you know capital growth the yield, the budget, the where, and exactly what we're buying. And all of those can be talked about in a, in a, in a call. Which brings me on to um, the next steps. You know, what, what would be? You've listened to all that. You thought, well, that sounds, that sounds interesting. Whether it's, um, you, you, if you're still here, you probably think it's, it's worth, worth a bit further investigation if you turned yeah. off 10 minutes ago. We know you did. Um, next steps. Go on, Adam. What's the next steps? Well, there'll be a link below below this video. or there are occasions the where the link is above yeah somewhere there's else a link. there's definitely a link um you better click that link and book onto a call with one of our consultants they will talk you through the next steps and dig a bit deeper answer any questions you've got go around that wheel talk about um the, the sort of properties that you're interested in fill out that buy to let order form um, we call it a landlord success call where you can get all your questions asked. This is just a taste of what we do. Um, we actually run um, a group Zoom calls where you can come and meet us and ask your questions and, and see a presentation a bit more detailed, similar to this, but we're giving you you know the, the majority of the info here. We run webinars yeah. where... I think, I think the thing is, if, if you are interested in us property sourcing, or at least in, interested enough to ask some more questions, Book a call. If you are at all window shopping, go to fortthelandlords.com and perhaps subscribe. You know, top right hand corner, click on subscribe. You'll start to get emails through and it'll give you a flavour of everything that we do. So we're not just property sources. We're a we're a significantly sized um, lettings agency as well. So we find, fix, rent and manage property. And there's all sorts of stuff as well. Adam says we call it a success call. Anybody who calls us, whether you speak to us for five minutes or five hours, and that has happened occasionally, 
um, we go through that wheel. We yeah, talk about it's those points. really important. So um, it might be the case that you're wanting to get started, but you know you need to get a few of your ducks in a row first. Book a call for that. Have that conversation. Get an introduction to our mortgage broker, accountant. Get some advice on setting up a limited company if you're just starting out. That's part of it. We'll happily help you do that. And then when you're ready, we can help you find a house also. Great. Um, yeah. Cool. So, book a call. Coming up next are the eight key questions that anybody should ask a property sourcer before signing a contract or handing over any money. So stay tuned for that. Or if you're done, if you're all questioned out, book that call. Bye for now. Thanks a lot.